Everybody's going out and having fun. Stuck down here on St. Brad's Farm. Stuck down here on St. Brad's Farm just to have him on. And everybody's out on the screen. All but me. Well, now they got me down here. They got me a picking peas. Lord, I picked so many peas, my fingers are killing me. And I guess I was born just to lose. Say nothing but them doggone Say Bride's Blues. So everybody's going out and having fun. Is Mary Ann here? Stuck down here on Say Bride's Farm just to have it night. And everybody is out on the spree. All but me. Yeah, everybody's going out and having fun. I'm stuck down here on the St. Bride's Farm just to have enough. He was a picker, he was a grinner, he was a singer, and a sinner, and he sure did blow that mouth heart something fine. He was a tinker, a joker, he was a beer, beer drinker, and a tall, tall smoker, about a proud thing, he was a mighty good friend of mine, and he could sing all night, Lord, he must have known a million songs.
he was a lot of things. He was a lot of things, and uh, one of those was just a singer of good old timey songs like. They gave him his orders at Monroe, Virginia, saying, Steve, you're way behind time. Well, it says not 38, but it's all 97. Very intense, all the time. Then he turned around and said, Do his black music fireman man shovel on. Cause when we reach that white old mountain on the white old 97 road, it's a mighty rough road from Lynchburg to Devil on the line with three miles to It was on that grain that he lost Well, he was coming down that slope, doing 90 miles an hour with his whistle broken to a places like the Upstairs Coffee House and the WTAR Television and he even did a concert, in fact there's a picture of it in the tent over there of him doing a concert in the library at Old Dominion University and he gained some kind of recognition had a couple articles written by him by uh, a couple of really good writers on the Virginian pilot who told his story and how we had uh, kind of worked to get him out of jail, bailed him out by playing the tape we'd made in the West Side Laundromat on Hampton Boulevard. $13.50. He was the most surprised to see us and uh, it was a most heartening experience when Herb Selby hired him to play down at the upstairs coffee house along with folks like Mike Williams and baby John McCalla, some little known uh, singer who was a waitress down on the, the corner of Atlantic Avenue at 17th Street in Virginia Beach. What was her name? The, uh, Emmy Lou. Emmy Lou. <laughs> Emmy Lou Harris. Who knew? Emmy Lou. Who knew? <laughs> And uh, that year passed by too fast. I wound up going to the service. Ben went off to a rock band in New York, and uh, Brian Huddy got married. 